So we're here with artist Kenneth Jackson. He, he was the curator of the Black and White exhibition, and he is also a artist here at BWAC, and this is his piece. Um, do you want to talk about it? Okay, this piece um, I did a few years ago, and because I was curating this show, you know, my wife said to me, you know, where's that piece? It was such a powerful piece. I so, mean, this piece was printed in a magazine years ago, um, some New York magazine, but years ago. And um, it was in my garage. Because I was doing the black and white show, I thought, and then I, I pulled it out, and I said, you know what, why don't I just put this upstairs? So I, I, I put it upstairs, and this is basically um, about police brutality. But it's not just that, it's about again, how we see things and how we see each other and how we treat each other. Like these words here are not my words. These actually are from um, this book I had of um, passages of graffiti art. Mm. So what people would write on the walls, this was wrote on the walls somewhere in New York and it made its way onto the paint. This is from the newspaper. And this is from uh, uh, an article I was reading about Cecil Rhodes. But it, it, it kind of goes back in history and tells you how things and how people view you and how that's really come to a head now and how people see you. Like I have pieces now that really speaks about how do you see us on how we see you and how, how that hasn't really been addressed because we really don't talk to each other. And I just took this word, you know, white nigga, and it's like, that really doesn't mean anything until you put a meaning to it. So, it's like, is it how you see people, right? You might see that, well, I see those people that way. You know, I might see these people as cockroaches. You know what I'm saying? All these things. Coming to the mind. So that's what the piece became. And is this based on a real photograph? That's based on a famous photograph. That's an old photograph, and I just kind of painted it and just put stuff around it and uh, made it my own. And these are the officers? Those are two of the officers who said I didn't do anything wrong. Wow, there's, and, there's so much. There's and that so says much so history. much by yeah. just saying that. I mean, and they still say that today. And it's not like I'm against police. I have a brother who's a correction officer. And me, myself, this past year, I did portraits of police officers, their whole family. So I'm not against anyone. But, you know, what's wrong is wrong. What's right is right. You know, and you, until you start treating people as human beings, as equals, you, you, you're always going to have these problems because you feel that, you know, you should do this. You know, you may feel it's wrong, but you know what? Um, it is what it is. And that's not a good answer. Yeah. You know, you have to do more than that. More has to be done. That's and true. you start with education. You start with a lot of things. But we'll see what this time brings about. I mean, I've never seen the way it was this past year where people would just take to the streets for months at a time. Not just here, all over the world. Yeah, it's amazing. We'll see what comes out of that. Yeah. yeah. I think I, I really, um, it's resonating with me what you have been saying about giving everybody a voice. Mm -hmm. Because in your work here, you're giving a lot of people voices. This is also a graffiti art. Oh, okay. So this was something they wrote on the wall, and I just copied it. Because it says, as you shoot down the Vietnam, this is somebody from um, talking about the Vietnam War. As you shoot down the Vietnam girls and men in the fields burning and, and chopping, poisoning and blighting, so surely I hunt the white man down in my heart. That's someone from Vietnam talking about their experience through the war and what's happening to him when it comes back to this word. What does white mean and what does nigger mean? It comes all back to that. Yeah. That's why you pull those passages out. There's, it's like, there's a, there's a whole thing about different passages what people would write on the wall. Like, my sirens, they never stop screaming. My searchlights ain't got no sky. That, that this is a, puts it in time, this puts it in a time. And then you go back to the history and how people would actually look at Cecil Rose, not really listening to what he was saying. 
A lot of what he was saying is that, you know, black people ain't worth, worth a dog. They just work, you know, to, to, to be my servant or work for me. It, it, and that's, that's sometimes, you know, we say sometimes America is, and, you know, we're all Americans. But sometimes you, you, you look and you say, for some people, America is nothing but a lie. Well, thank you so much for sharing this powerful work with BWAC and our audience. And thank you so much for talking about it. I think like it's so it's so meaningful to have the yeah. artists be able to like tell an audience what it is that yeah. they're thinking, what they're feeling, um, where where their influences are coming from. It's really it's really important. But I I, I want to leave it to the viewer mostly because a lot of times I think when people speak about the art, sometimes they kill it. Yeah. So sometimes I would like to say less less is more. Don't say too much, but, you know, and then sometimes you want to talk about it. Like some things, I mean, if you're asking, I'll talk about it. You ask me, I'll talk about it. Well, thank you so much. You get the point.